Welcome to this video playing Gubby. Gubby, no flag. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carol Khan with F3, the, the fantasy variation. And um, I keep forgetting what I have, uh, what I had recommended in my in my series for the ICC. Bishop E3, really. Hmm. Yeah, isn't this cool in chess? Many possibilities you would never imagine <laughs> uh, be being possible. If I take on b2, knight d2, hmm. yeah, maybe. But okay, let's let's use this um, queen on b6 for playing e5. This is um, the the main point anyway to uh, get e5 played uh, quickly. Interesting. Okay. Well, <laughs> can take. Hmm, I forgot about this one. If I give the check, though, what does he play? Check. There's some. Hmm. Wow. Uh, and this set and this in the and play playing this in the morning is not much fun <laughs> e3 i can play knight and he's playing everything instantly this is cool so hmm. knight takes d5 I know it looks completely wacky, but okay, knight d5, I take on d2 and win. Okay, this is good. If he takes with the knight on e3, I can hmm, maybe even queen d4, but at least I can take e3 and take b2. This should be good, really. And, um, I'm not sure what else he's going to do. Hmm. Yeah, still a knight takes e3 probably. Okay, if he takes on e3 with the knight, is queen d4 a move? Queen d4. Hmm. But at least he's got knight takes uh, d5 and trying to play for development. Uh, so I, I prefer that. And then taking on b2, right? At least he doesn't uh, have an obvious move now, I hope. Or maybe knight e4, something like that. Yeah. Okay, man, I need to get developed rook b1. Yeah, I need to get developed. This is certainly true, but I think I should focus on the king side. Let's play king e uh, bishop e7 and castles. Yeah, yeah, of course he has not not much regard for material. This is <laughs> but a2. Uh, taking a2 is not much not much uh, fun. I think just this is this is better attacking the the bishop. And um, getting Check. getting back this way. Okay, and we're going just to c7 now. Or maybe to d5. Uh, let's go to d5. <clears throat> yeah, it's always if you if you're already uh, if you've sacrificed stuff, and. Uh, it, it's always easy you can still <laughs> you can still throw more wood into the fire it doesn't matter Check. really like he, he's just sacking <laughs> stuff it doesn't uh, matter anymore um, and he's got he's got some compensation I mean it's two pawns but still I've moved my queen so often <laughs> but uh, Wow. It's 
looks like a very sophisticated way to play. Queen on a1. Well, I just get my pieces out. Bishop f5. If he moves the rook somewhere, I can even consider to take here on, on d6. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, why not? At least he cannot castle now. Just take d2. Now let's develop knight c5, knight d3. Yeah, now he's got no compensation at all. I'm just two pawns up. Probably with the better position even. Yeah. Got rook b1. Rook b1 now, just to, to trade things. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I had I had something better even. This doesn't feel like uh, I played the best possible moves. Mm. Yeah, I should have I should have uh, more here really. Yeah, but it's it is it is a fine position. I'm attacking this, uh, this bishop. So I'm gaining some time. If he goes to f2, I even have rook b2. Yeah, okay. This is this is okay. Nothing to um, um Yeah, nothing to to worry about really. I don't really see a move. Really not not a good one. The only slight issue is that um, I, I'm 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 a bit bit vulnerable on the back rank. Not um, excessively so, but uh, it's it's a factor. Okay, just yeah, come on. Let's uh, make some some luft for the king. Bishop c2 to trade. Maybe. Just to f6. Oh wait, the rook is hanging. The rook and knight is hanging. Oh, don't tell me I have blundered a piece here. Yeah, it seems like I'm just blunder. I've just blundered a piece. Yeah, this is also the only way to to ever not win this game, blundering a whole a whole piece. Ah, what the heck? Let's uh, try to get rid of pawns. He's got the right colored bishop. This is not very helpful. Check. Time warning. Resigned. Yeah, well, this happens if you just blunder a whole piece. I mean, the whole game was basically a joke. I was just giving away pawns for nothing. And then I just blundered this piece. 
Yeah, no way to... Um, I can just take F2. Why don't I take F2? I mean, it's still um, a big blunder to allow that, but... Um, I mean, to allow the, the double attack. But rook f2 is, uh, is just tougher. Yeah, this you can continue, but... Um, but um, uh, he can... Check. Check. Win the rook here. Didn't see it. And just playing on time here. Not uh, looking for Check. any good moves. Yeah, the whole opening is just unplayable, I think. I mean, um, <laughs> it's just not, not working at all. Around here. Check. It looks like um, black is in excellent shape. Just one pawn up, and the soon was two pawns. Check. For no compensation whatsoever. Check. Yeah, queen a1 and stuff. Yeah, okay, but if you blunder a piece, it doesn't help. One uh, really bad move can be um, can be a bigger problem than uh, than twenty subpar ones by the opponent. All right. Thanks for watching.